Hey guys, this is Michael from Concrete Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to write net ionic equations. We'll first start by talking about the, the steps, then we'll work through two example problems together, and then by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to write net ionic equations. So the steps, the first step, you need to first write the molecular equation. That's um, what you're used to as the regular equation like I've written here. Then what you do next is you break, then you write the total ionic equation. So what this means is you're going to break up any strong electrolytes. And strong electrolytes are the strong acid, the strong bases, and soluble ionic compounds, which just means the um, ionic compounds which have are in aqueous state. So any of those strong acids, strong bases, or soluble ionic compounds, you're going to break them up into their ions, into the cations, and into the anion. And then lastly, you get the net ion equation by crossing out the spectrated ions, which are the ions that are the same on both sides. Don't worry, this will all make sense as we work through these examples problems together. So this first example problem, we have HCN plus NaOH goes to H2O liquid and NaCN aqueous. So that's our molecular equation. What we do next is we get the total ionic equation. So first is HCN. We have to ask yourself, is this a strong acid, strong base, or soluble ionic compound? And it's neither of those because HCN is a weak base. So since it's not a strong electrolyte, we're not going to break it apart. We're just going to transfer it down as HCN aqueous. Then we get NaOH, and NaOH we know is a strong base. I've written the strong acid and strong bases right here for your reference. And NaOH is, a, is part of the alkali metal with a hydroxide, so since this is a strong base, we can separate this into the ions. NaOH is going to dissociate into sodium ion and then hydroxide ion. Then we go to the peroxide. H2 is a liquid, so it's not even aqueous. Uh, liquid solid gases, you you don't dissociate them, so they just stay together as H2O liquid. Then we get to NaCN, and this is going to be a soluble ionic compound. So we know this is ionic because it contains a metal and a polyatomic ion, and it's currently in aqueous state, which means it's soluble. So since this is a soluble ionic compound, we can break it up into the ion, breaking it up into sodium ion and then cyanide ion. So that's step two, that's our total ionic equation. Then to get to the net ionic equation, what we do is you cross out the spectator ions, which are the ions that are the same on both sides. So in this case, this would be the sodium. We can cross that out, and then everything else we can't cross out. So we just carry that down, and we get HCN aqueous plus OH minus aqueous forms H2O liquid plus CN minus aqueous. And then that is our net ion equation. All right, let's go do another example together. So in this example, we have 3KOH plus FV iron nitrate forms iron hydroxide and potassium nitrate. So this is our molecular equation. So then next we break this up into the total ionic equation. KOH is a strong base, so we're going to break that up. And KOH breaks up into K plus aqueous. But since we have a 3 in front, it's 3 K plus aqueous. And then 3 OH minus aqueous. The next iron nitrate, that's an ionic compound. And since it's aqueous, this is a soluble ionic compound. So we're going to break that up as well into its ion. And that's going to form iron 3 plus aqueous plus 3 nitrate, because there's a subscript 3 right here, aqueous, and now we move on to the product side. Iron hydroxide is a solid here, so again, solid, liquid, and gases, we do not dissociate, we do not break them up, so it stays together as iron hydroxide, solid, and then lastly, we have potassium nitrate, so again, this is a ionic compound because it contains a metal and a polyatomic ion and it's aqueous here so this is a soluble ionic compound meaning we can break this up and it's going to break it up into 3k plus aqueous because there's 3 right here plus 3 nitrate aqueous because when you have a coefficient it applies to both the cation and the anion 
So that's going to be our complete ionic. Then to get to our net ionic, we just cross out any ions that are the same in both cases. Here we have multiple. Potassium plus is a spectator ion. And we also can cross out nitrate because that's also on both sides. We can cross out the three nitrate with the three nitrate here. So we have potassium plus and nitrates are our spectator ions. Then what we have left over then is three, three OH minus plus FB three plus aqueous. And then on our product side, the only thing we have left over is the iron hydroxide. And that's a solid. And then that's gonna be our nanoionic equation. And that's it. So just to recap what we did, to, to write nanion equations, you have to go do three steps. You first have to write the molecular equation. In these two examples, I gave you the molecular equation, the complete molecular equation, but sometimes you, you are going to be only given the reactants and then you will have to predict the products. If you're struggling with that, just take a look at my double replacement practice problems and you will know exactly how to do that. Then you we write our total ionic equation. So what that means is you break up any strong acid strong bases and soluble ionic compounds into the uh, the cation and then the anion which means the positively charged and negatively charged ions and then lastly to get the nanion equation you just cross out any ions that are the same on both sides and then what you're left with is the net ion on a ionic equation all right hopefully that made a lot of sense and clarified how to write net ion equations and if that did help Give the video a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to the channel because I'll be posting up tons of videos that's going to help you do better in chemistry and conquer chemistry. And if you liked my tutoring style or teaching style and you want, you're interested in individual tutoring, check out www.conquerchemistry.com slash online tutoring. All right, keep practicing and I'll see you next time.